it was because of the success of the Super Soaker, I was able to at least get an audience with people to present some of my other ideas. Uh, I built a robot in high school that won first place at the University of Alabama back in the 60s. This was just a few years after Governor Wallace had stood in the door and said no blacks would atten ever attend this attend this university. I was the only black student with the science project in this entire event, and I won first place. And I was always interested in how things worked. I would take my siblings' toys apart to see what was inside because I wanted to know how they worked. You know, my mother uh, uh, had finished high school. My father had not. He had served in the Army, and he gave me my first lesson in the electrical circuits. That's sort of where the genesis was. I would say that uh, engineering has been a very positive experience overall, but usually coming into a situation, it would be one of being underestimated. People would actually have low expectations, but I, and I would you know, take advantage of it quite honestly because I would take my time to understand the situation and once I did, then I would start making contributions and everyone would be surprised. I had this uh, idea of coming up with a new type of heat pump that would use water as a working fluid instead of Freon because Freon is bad for the environment. And I turned and shot the stream of water across the bathroom into the bathtub and I thought, it was very gratifying. And I thought, geez, I should do a toy because if anyone could look at a toy and appreciate it, it would really be impressive and I could get some investors, I could make some money on that, and then I could really start working on some of the more challenging projects that I have in mind. It's a water gun of a higher caliber. It took um, seven years from the time that I got the idea for the Super Soaker and a number of false starts along the way. A lot of reasons to give up and be frustrated, but seven years of really trying to make this thing happen. But once the water gun became successful and I decided I wanted to be the king of all toy guns, and so I started designing these Nerf dart guns. I'm excited about that because it means that I'm getting back into space again. Unfortunately, a lot of kids who look like me feel left out and feel that they would not be accepted or can't see themselves doing the kind of work that I've been doing and been very successful at. And the reality is just the opposite. In engineering and technology, every kid can turn pro. You will always face pushback. You will always face naysayers. You will always face difficulties. If you can make it real, you can make it happen. And by far, the most important thing you can do is persevere.